The second epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Corinthians. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God and Timothy our brother, and to the church of God which is at Corinth, with all the saints which are in all of Achia, grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribu tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounds by Christ. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer, or whether we be conformed, it, or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as you are partakers of the sufferings, so shall you be also of the consolation. For we would not, brethren, have you ignorant of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure, above strength, insomuch that we despaired even life. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God which raised the dead. Who delivered us from such great a death, and does deliver, in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us? You also helping together by prayer for us, that for the gift bestowed upon us by the means of many persons, thanks may be given to many on our behalf. For our rejoicing is this, the testimony of our conscience that in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshy wisdom, but by the grace of God, we have had our conversation in the world and more abundantly you toward. For we write none other things unto you than what you read or acknowledge, and I trust you shall acknowledge even to the end, as also you have acknowledged us in part, that we are also your rejoicing, even as you also are ours in the day of the Lord Jesus. And in this confidence I was minded to come unto you before, that you might have a second benefit, and to pass you into, the Mac into Macedonia, and come again out of Macedonia unto you, and of you to be brought in my way toward Judea. When I therefore was thus minded, did I use lightness, or the things that I purposed, do I purpose according to the flesh, that with me there should be yes, yes, and nay, nay. But as God is true, our word toward you was not yes or no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who is preached among you by us, even by me and Savanius and Timothus, was not yea and nay, but in him was yes. For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Now he which established us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God who has also sealed us and given us the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. Moreover, I call God for a record upon my soul, that to you spare you I come not as yet into Corinth. Not for that you have domination over your faith, but are helpers of your joy, for by faith you stand. Chapter 2 But I determined this in myself, that I would not come again to you in heaviness, for if I make you sorry, who is he then that makes me glad, but the same which is made sorry by me? And I wrote this, the same unto you, lest when I come I should have sorrow from them whom I ought to rejoice, having confidence in you all, that my joy is the joy of you all. For out of much affliction and anguish of heart I wrote unto you with many tears, not that you should be grieved, but that you might know the love which I have more abundantly unto you. But if any have caused grief, he has not grieved me, but in part that I may not overcharge you all. 
Sufficient to such a man is the punishment which was inflicted of many, so that contra contrariwise you ought rather to forgive him and comfort him, lest perhaps such a one should be swallowed up with overmuch sorrow. Wherefore I beseech you that you would confirm your love toward him. For to this end also did I write, that I might know the proof of you, whether you be obedient in all things. To whom you forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgive anything, to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgave it in the person of Christ. Lest Satan should get a hold and advantage us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Furthermore, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, and a door was opened unto me of the Lord, I had no rest in my spirit, because I found not Titus my brother, but taking my leave of them, I went thence to Macedonia. Now thanks be unto God, which always caused us triumph in Christ, and make us manifest our Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. For we are unto God a sweet Savior of Christ, in them that are saved and in them that perish. To the one we are Savior to death unto death, and to the others we are Savior of life unto life. And who is sufficient for these things? For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as sincerity, but as God in the sight of God we speak in Christ. Thank you, Jesus. In your loving name we pray. Amen.